Welcome news for the Korean economy. Latest data shows the nation's exports post a double-digit growth for the first time since the year 2013. Our Shin Se-min sheds light on the government efforts to do whatever it takes to keep the momentum going, which includes greater support for the rapidly growing service sector. A surprise improvement on Korea's export front. For the first time in 33 months, exports have expanded for three straight months. It's also the first time in four years that Korea's outbound shipments have logged a double-digit growth. Exports rose 11.2 percent in January from last year on the back of better sales of semiconductors and petrochemicals. Shipments rose to over 40.3 billion U.S. dollars last month, up from the 36 billion tallied a year ago. Imports to grew, posting an 18.6 percent rise on year, bringing the country's trade surplus to $3.2 billion, the 60th consecutive month with a surplus on record. Speaking about this rebound on the trade front in a meeting on Wednesday, Finance Minister attributed the recovery momentum to a boost in facilities investment. He also promised to help uphold the robust figures. For local firms doing business overseas, the government will put all-out efforts to help them continue to win more contracts and solidify their position in the global market. Also during the meeting, Minister Yu unfolded the government's plan to boost the country's service sector, doubling its spending on research and development to some four billion U.S. dollars over the next five years. And with the advent of the fourth industrial revolution, the government says it will work to utilize new growth engines like the Internet of Things and artificial intelligence and boost productivity in the manufacturing industry. This plan could in turn work to reduce Korea's reliance on the manufacturing sector, long considered the engine for growth, and place more weight on the country's service sector. With this, the government said it hopes to boost its ratio of R&D investment in the service sector from the 8.6 percent logged last year to 13 percent by 2021. Since I'm in, Arirang News.